Okay. This review right here is for a game that you have probably already got or you've probably already heard a lot about. And, I mean, after playing it and after looking at it, trust me, Shadow Complex is awesome as hell. But this is the intro, this is the name of the game, uh, it's Shadow Complex. Now, it's on Xbox Live Arcade. Um, so, you don't have to really go to a store and get it or, or look it up online or whatever. You can just pretty much download it. Um, online if you have credits anyhow this game takes um, it, it does it does basically what Street Fighter 4 did uh, mix 2D perspective with 3D perspective um, as you can see right now is 3D but it's coming from a 2D view which has been did multiple times Like you got characters in the background, shoot them. Oh, now you shit. Okay, yeah, that's actually in the background. So you have background and foreground, all playable, all of it. I'm not and I'm not bullshitting. I mean it really is all playable. No shit. This is pretty much the first game to really do this perfectly. And they did one hell of a job. And the reason this is is because they're using the Unreal Engine. That's why this looks and plays so good. Now At first, I thought that you were starting off with this guy, but no, it switches over to another dude. And basically, in Shadow Complex, it's one of those games where you find a weapon, and you're able to use it. And what I mean by that is, I know that doesn't sound exciting at first, but after you see, like, just the gameplay of this shit is crazy as hell. You you don't have no choice but to get into it. It's just that good. And for an Xbox Live arcade game, I mean they put some effort into it. So I would say is it worth buying? Yeah. I I would pretty much buy it. I just don't trust my credit card with Xbox. I mean hell. I basically don't even trust my warranty with Xbox. But that's just me. Anyway, they used the old Legend of Zelda um, storyline thing to start it off with. Uh, this girl right here, I guess it's his girlfriend, I'm not sure. But anyway, they got a relationship of somewhat. I don't know whether it's friend or whether it's emotional. But she ends up getting taken hostage and... Um, your character ends up having to play the knight in shining armor. So that's where this takes off. Only difference is, it's where Link is using a sword, he's using a damn gun. Which is ten times better. Now for people who said that 2D is dead, <laughs> Obviously, it's not. I'm telling you, if you have not got this game already, do yourself a favor and get this game. Get it. Get it. Seriously. <laughs> in game movie
I believe that George Lucas should be real jealous at who designed the enemy's outfits because they did a way better job than he did with the damn Baba fleets. Okay. Okay, on this game, stealth is a must. Because with stealth, you can pull off Mei Ling attacks uh, when you sneak up behind an enemy. Oh, and last but not least, which I loved, is that um, it is possible to kill another enemy um, with an explosion. And what I mean by that is, is like, they have, I'm not sure what they are, that they have these little robots. And if you uh, destroy the robots, wherever they fall, if an enemy is close, when the robot explodes, the enemy takes damage, which a lot of a lot of games really didn't focus on doing. That made it even more realistic, you know. Because I'm thinking to myself, if it kills me, it should be able to kill them as well. Obviously, the team that created this game had the same thought in mind. Smack! Smack! I bet you some girl right now or some member of the FCC is thinking to themselves, Oh, that's promoting domestic violence. And, uh, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If Chung Lee can get smacked around and Shari Yukin for like year after year after year, they shouldn't have had a problem with that shit. Got a little flashback scene. Alright, I got some time to show you some shooting action. So you have the WSP-40. Uh, shoot the turret. And run like hell. The boss battles, uh, the boss battles on this game, awesome as hell. Oh, was it supposed to run out here? Gonna have to shoot this guy. Get out of my face, camera. If you get sighted by a camera, instead of a, a loud ass annoying alarm going off, it'll just lock a door <laughs> so you can't get in. Oh shit. Almost got caught. Yeah, you use the flashlight to reveal hidden passages. Uh, throughout the level you're in, which I found was kind of neat. So right now, sneaking through the vents, sneaking, sneaking, get my light off. Oh, just shot you, didn't I? Okay, look at the characters at the bottom, and boom, <laughs> it kills them just like it would kill me. Perfect. I think that's fair game. What you think? But yeah, you've seen the game, you've heard about it maybe. Should you spend your hard earned money on it? Yes, yes. I believe that you should. I 
because the team that created it did a good job.